Now, over on the left-hand side, you have the times here for your day, your work week, the week, but not for the month. I mean, who can keep track of time for each day? In any case, let's go back to the day. And this is supposed to be representative of your time zone. And I also want to show you how you can add another time zone. So if you're scheduling an appointment or a meeting and, well, let's see, at 2 o'clock and you're like, okay, I want to schedule it with somebody back in New York, Eastern Standard Time. What's their time zone? What time is it going to be for them a couple of hours later, like 4 o'clock? In any case, to go ahead and add an additional time zone and to find out what time zone you're currently working with here, just come up here on the Home tab to the Arrange Group, click on its expandable dialog box button, and you go backstage in the options with calendar selected by default. And then just go ahead and scroll down to Time Zones. And there's my time zone, Mountain Standard Time, and that's right. And then the label, I could type it in here, but since I just have one time zone, it doesn't matter. But if I want to go ahead and add a second time zone, check it. And it's already labeled Eastern Standard Time. I mean, you can label it whatever you want and it's set to Eastern Standard Time. But let's go ahead and click on the drop down arrow so I can show you that oh look at all these different times you can go through so Eastern Standard Time you could call it EST or you can just say it's for New York Standard Time the label for me is Mountain Standard Time and then you can swap time zones so if I swap it so New York comes first and then Mountain Standard Time click OK and there you go there's Mountain Standard New York so when I want to schedule an appointment for March the 19th I could say, okay, I want to meet with them at 12 o'clock. No, they told me that they're not available until their time, 4 o'clock. So that would be 2 o'clock my time. Now you can go ahead and do it that way, you know, up here to the Arrange group. Click on its expandable dialog box button to open up the window to be able to work on those options or go backstage. But you can also right-click on the time zone. It's a lot easier, especially in the previous training video when we looked at changing or updating the increments. Right now it's in 30-minute increments over here in the day view. So if I go to 15 minute increments, it updates it. So instead of from 8 to 8.30 to 9, it now goes in 15 from 8 to 8.15 to 8.30, 8.45, then 9. It's a lot easier, right? In any case, I'm going to go back to 30 and you can right click and say change time zone. Click on that and then, you know, backstage, calendar selected, and then there's the time zones. So then I can go ahead and say, well, before I uncheck not showing a second time zone, I want to swap it because I want my time zone, Mountain Standard, to be there. And then I can uncheck New York or Eastern Standard Time and click OK. And we're back to where we started. Well, now we got the label, but hey, that's annoying. Right click and then update it, change your time zone, and then delete it. Click OK, and it's gone. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.